second generation Subaru VRZ and Toyota GR86 are fantastic cars. But when they're driven hard on the track, the oil pressures can get dangerously low during hard right hand turns. We and many other owners have logged these oil pressure drops and some have even seen their engines blow up. We decided to test the effectiveness of installing an AccuSump with some back to back track tests. This video is a follow up to our previous oil pressure track testing video. So if you haven't seen that, we recommend you check it out by clicking the link below. We're at Area 27 to test the AccuSump on our 2023 BRZ. First, we can send the BRZ out with the AccuSump disabled. Here's a plot of that data from that hot lap. Without the AccuSump, we're seeing quite a few pressure drops below 30 PSI with a low of 18 PSI. The car's just coming in now. We're going to turn on the AccuSump. All right, the valve's open and the car is headed back to the track to do another hot lap with the AccuSump active. Here's the chart for the lap with the AccuSump active. You can see the pressure never drops below 30 PSI. It's a substantial improvement. We'll put the plot with both data sets on the screen for you to see. Since Area 27 has more left-handers being a counterclockwise circuit, we actually see pressure drops on the left-hander turns as well in the lateral acceleration plot. This only happens with cornering forces more than 1G. However, by looking at the plot and how it tapers off, you can still tell the pressure drops occur more predominantly on right-hand turns. Let's head back to the shop and review the data of the problematic corners with and without the AccuSump. We won't bore you with running through each corner, but here's the table with the minimum pressures that we saw in each corner. Here's the chart which shows how often the oil pressure drops below a certain threshold. This data is better than our previous video since this is from the exact same track tested back to back. As mentioned earlier, the pressure never goes below 60% of the average oil pressure with the AccuSump. But without it, it dips below 40%. For oil pressures below 70%, their occurrences are reduced from 1.1% to 0.2%. So what does this all mean? Well, at the moment, we think it's pretty simple. There are no baffles available yet that have been proven to be effective in substantially reducing the pressure drops. No one can say for sure that a certain oil pressure or a certain amount of time without pressure that the engine will fail or be irreversibly damaged. So the question is, do the oil pressure drops you've seen in this video and other videos concern you as an owner? If they do, we recommend that you should get an AccuSump. If they don't, don't bother installing an AccuSump and just keep doing what you're doing. If you're on the fence, maybe consider measuring and logging the pressure in your car and make your own decision based on what you find there. Click on the link below for our Ansix Auto oil pressure monitoring solution. It seems there's a bit of stigma about how AccuSumps might be complicated to use or might cause potential issues. In a future video, we'll show you how to set up your AccuSump for street use and for track use and address some of the common concerns. We are still looking at putting together a follow-up video discussing our theories on the whole oil pressure drop issue and what's causing the engine blow-ups. Please subscribe if you'd like to be notified when we upload that. Feel free to suggest the topic for another video or just ask us any questions. You can check out our links to our GR86 and BRZ products below. We'll leave you with an onboard lap, which is currently the fastest lap of any second generation GR86 and BRZ at Area 27 Motorsport Circuit.